I'm Charlotte Edwards, Assistant Technology and Science Editor at the US Sun, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a solar eclipse cereal box viewing contraption. So that may sound quite odd, but you can actually view the solar eclipse through a cereal box. You won't be looking at the actual eclipse, but you'll be looking at its shadow. So this is very interesting if you're in the area of the partial eclipse, or even if you're in the path of totality and you're watching the partial eclipse happen before the main event. What you're going to need is a cereal box, or in this case, a Cheez-It box. You will need some tin foil or aluminum foil. You will need scissors, some tape or some glue, a pen, and a white piece of paper. Now the white piece of paper is very important and that is what we're going to do first. So you take your box, you draw around it with your pen, and then you make sure it's the perfect rectangle shape. Now we have this rectangle, which should fit ideally exactly in the bottom of the box. So we'll cut this out. Try and be as precise as possible, but it's not too crucial. Now we have our white piece of paper. Ideally, it wouldn't have these marks on it, but it's okay if it does. And then we put it inside the box to the very end. I've already put one inside the box. It fits nicely here without any glue, but you might want to glue yours down. And this is where the shadow of the partial eclipse will appear in your special cereal box viewer. So we place the box back down and we need to make two holes at the top of the box. You're gonna want one on this side and one on this side, so left and right, but you do not want a hole in the middle. You're gonna to wanna to tape this up. Before you do the taping, you're gonna cut the two holes. It's quite easy to do with a cereal box because you have the flaps. So you can cut it like this. And then match up the lines and cut it like this. So you'll have a hole that shape. And then you want another hole on the other side. Now we have our two holes and we're gonna tape this middle section together. So take your tape, just put it right over the box. I'll add some more just so it's nice and secure. Okay, there we are. Next, you're gonna want to get your piece of aluminum foil and you're gonna wanna cut a square about this. It needs to be bigger than the square on the box. Then we're gonna place it over your square of choice and we're also going to tape that down. doesn't need to be perfect, but ideally it will be quite tight. Okay. Now your cereal box or cheese it box will look something like this. You have the foil side, you have the open side, you have this bit taped up in the middle. And there's one thing left to do, and that's to punch a hole in the middle here. This hole is important because it's where the sunlight filters through and shows you the shape of the sun at that time, reflected onto the white piece of paper inside. So it's a great way to see the sun's shadow when it's in its unusual shapes. The hole needs to be around the middle, quite precise, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And you also have time to work out what size hole works for you. So take your pen or pin and pierce in the middle. Just like that. It's not a perfect circle, but it should work. The most important thing is that it's big enough for sunlight to filter through. The last thing on your list to do is to use your solar eclipse viewing box to view the actual solar eclipse. Now, this is very easy. You've already made the contraption and you can view it like this 
you put your back to the sun, never look at the sun directly, it will damage your eyes. So put your back to the sun, look through the hole, and make sure that there's enough room for the sunlight to go through this pinhole that you made. And then you should be able to see the shadow of the sun and the nice shape of the solar eclipse. And one more thing, if you happen to be in the path of totality for this total eclipse, you may be able to spot a green comet at the same time. This comet has been nicknamed the Mother of Dragons by the European Space Agency. It's very rare, it only comes past Earth every 71 years. But if you are looking at the sun during the total eclipse moment when the sky is dark, you should try and find Jupiter to the left of the sun. And around Jupiter and the Sun, you might see a little speck, and that is the Mother of Dragons comet. This is great for children who are watching the eclipse. Sometimes it's a bit boring because it does happen over several hours. So it's a great activity to do whilst you're waiting for the main event, which is the total eclipse. Now, not all states will get to view the total eclipse. There are 48 states that will be able to see some of the eclipse. The only states in America that won't get any glimpse of this eclipse are Hawaii and Alaska. If you're anywhere else in the United States, you will be able to see some of the eclipse given the weather. If it's too cloudy, you might miss it if you're further away, but if you're in the path of totality, you're gonna experience nighttime for just under 10 minutes in the middle of the day. So check the US Sun website for more stories on the solar eclipse. We have lots of details about how you can watch it and where you need to be.